Hey, Tyler, Theater Design Company. Going to do a short video to educate some builders. So this one's going to go over some unique ideas on how to prep a TV on a tile fireplace the correct way. Let's jump into it. All right, so let's jump into this. So what we got is a basic tile wrap fireplace. See this quite often in a lot of the new modern homes. And about half the time I'm seeing them not prepped with any power. Um, I've actually even seen them with power behind the tile, which is code violation. And majority of the time the builders are just running, you know, a power, a duplex power outlet, and then a brush plate with a conduit behind it, nothing else. So what we don't want to do is what you see in this image is have the super nice high-end room, nice tile work with two outlets hanging on the wall. Obviously you got power up there, you know you're going to put a TV up there or at a minimum you hide those two outlets with a piece of artwork. So what we're going to do in this video is give you five options to clean up this look and also prep for the Samsung Frame TV or other devices. There's some other devices that can fit in these One Connect boxes, which are quite nice. So you can see the chapters and skip forward to each one that might pertain to you. And let's move forward. All right, so option number one, if you can even see it, would be to do a hidden access panel to cover up your power and your conduit. So this would be uh, probably a good option for a real high-end client or designer that maybe truly doesn't know if they're going to put a TV there. Uh, this would give it the best of both worlds, give you a quick glance, seamless look. But if you looked a little harder, you could tell that there was an access panel there. The other nice thing about this is you could pop that access panel open for you know Christmas lights or some sort of holiday thing uh, across your mantle if you had one. Um, and then, of course, that would be a good prep for an audio video guy like myself. And then all you'd have to do is take a conventional mount you know, take a, a hole saw, get a couple anchors, and now you get a TV mounted with power and conduit. So that's option number one. It's a solid option, um, and I would recommend doing this, at least overdoing the outlet and the brush plate. All right, so option number two, and actually option number three, is going to be our go-to, which is to use the Legrand 17-inch enclosure. So this is probably the most used enclosure for any frame TV and probably now. Uh, just hiding anything behind a TV in general. It fits between 14 and a half inch studs. It's as it says, a 17 inch panel. So it's a little over 17 inches tall on the interior specs. And that holds the one connect box, which is just a little under 17 inches. Uh, it does that well. It'll hold the one connect, a small little network switch, maybe an Apple TV without too much effort. And what I would do there is these come in white. So that's option number two. And then option number three, kind of just extending would be to take that and paint your front bezel color black uh, as well as the two removable panels for the uh, one connect enclosure from Legrand. So that's options number two and three and this is our recommended option for almost every project regardless if it's tile, even bedrooms, anything that's going to have a TV at that 50 to 70 inch height on the wall, just put one of these enclosures in because you can always put a piece of artwork over it and it gives you all sorts of options and different things. So. Super cool way to do it. And let's move on to option number four here. All right, so let's jump into option number four. So option number four is gonna be your most expensive option. Um, it's more of a custom install type device. So it has a, a basically it's a strong Versa box. It is a UL rated enclosure. Uh, it does come in three different sizes. What you're most likely going to do if you know you're putting a Samsung frame in is get the 20 by 14 box. Uh, it comes powder coated black from the factory. It's got all the knockouts for power just like the Legrand box, but it does come black so you don't have to paint it and take the labor and effort to do that. Uh, it's much more robust. So you might see some real high end builders want to use this instead of the Legrand box, which is plastic and not quite as durable. Uh, the down draw on this is it's $350 retail. A lot of custom installers are selling it for $250 or so. We sell it for just about that. Um, one other option here is if you know you're not going with a frame TV, um, or maybe you're going with a 32-inch frame TV, you could do one of their smaller 8x14 or 14x14 14 14 enclosures. Uh, we generally, if we know if it's going in tile, are going to put a 20x14 in. If we are going in drywall, we might spec a 14 by 14. If, for example, they're going to put an LG TV to maybe a, uh, a Weem amp with arc to a pair of ceiling speakers, then a 14 by 14 would cover that task. And if we ever added a Samsung frame, we could just cut up on the whole seven more inches and now we put the 20 by 14 in. 
So that's option number four. All right, so we've done options one through four. So option number five kind of covers all of them. Uh, and what this one is, is just getting a piece of plywood or birch or some sort of material and giving yourself a backer board for a TV and for the one connect box, power outlets and so on. You could even put the power outlets and brush plate in there and paint them black. And that's gonna give you a nice clean look. And then most likely you're gonna throw a piece of art over that. Um, if you're a builder or even a spec builder at your showing, you'll put a piece of art over it. And now you've prepped that for a frame TV. Uh, you've prepped it for a normal TV. But what you've also done is you've prepped it for the mounting. So now the installer doesn't have to get out a tile hole saw, doesn't have to get out his bits and all that and cut into your tile. And then where I really recommend this option, and I've seen this not done, is on customers and builders that have like a book matched marble, you know, full wrap fireplace where that marble slab was probably more than any TV they're ever going to buy for that space. And they're expecting an audio video guy to come in there and mount a frame TV on the wall and use a hole saw and hole saw into a piece of slab or tile that could be five, ten thousand dollars $10,000. So, and I've got actually a builder that has wanted us to do that on three jobs now. And he's finally got it that you put in a piece of backing in and every customer that he put these big marble slabs in, they went and head and put a TV in. So he saw all three of these customers put these TVs on top of this really nice book match marble in their living room. And now he's decided to allocate these spaces. So anyway, that's option number five with a little tiny rant uh, to try to get this stuff done and try to educate these builders. Um, anyway, if it helps you out, subscribe. Uh, links to below to a few of the products. Obviously, the strong boxes, that's a custom install type thing, so you'd have to buy that directly from us. And thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.